Hello there folks, these are the hands of me Dan Brown from Sort of Interesting and here we have got a Parker IM fountain pen, a Parker piston cartridge converter and of course we have got ourselves a tin of quink. Um, I'm not particularly fond of that name. Um, so if we dive in here we'll have a look at how it all works, hopefully. Um, now I've not used any of this before so this is going to be new to me but I thought we would just have a quick look and see how it all um, falls into place. Right, first of all, have a quick look at our jar of ink here. And well, it's pretty much what you expect, a jar of ink. <laughs> and yes, I think I'll leave the lid on for now. <laughs> that looks like it could be an accident waiting to happen. Now, as soon as I uh, posted my video on this, and I used to have a Parker Frontier as my main pen back in the good old days, but I never really went for anything uh, as fancy as this, to be honest. Um, so everybody, when I posted about this, uh, said, right, get yourself one of these converters. Uh, it'd probably be better and more economical in the long run. So I thought, well, let's go for it. And well, like I say, here we are. Let's see if I can master this, um, well, refill process. So I've already taken the cartridge out of there, and so we are, well I suppose, I better get this ready. I've got uh, plenty of tissue on hand as well, because this could well get quite messy. And well, as you see, hopefully, the theory is, this is going to pop in there, dip the nib in the ink, and then basically pull that up. So if we have a quick look here, you'll see you've basically got your little tab there, which hopefully is going to be used to suck the ink up through the nib. I suppose it's about time that we actually got this in action. So if we pop this onto the nib just like any other cartridge and that seems a pretty solid uh, grip there so that's definitely uh, something I'm pleased to see. Put the piston down and now the moment of truth. Now I believe you're meant to uh, just dip the nib in the full way and then, well, we shall see what happens. Ah uh, yes, as soon as I put the nib just that little bit further down, you can see that it's stuck the ink straight up there. And amazingly, there isn't actually that much ink left over on the uh, steel tip there. So, as you can see, I've instantly gone and got myself uh, in quite a mess. So I think I'll just put this to one side. Just give the nib a very quick uh, clean off there. And well, fair play. That's a good um, amount of ink that's gone up in there. And I suppose the moment of truth. Yes, it does actually fit in now we've done that. And so, in theory, we are all ready to write. Lovely jubbly. Right, well, that's been a very quick look at the uh, Parker uh, Quink and Piston Converter. It's got to be said, considering that was my first go, I don't think that went too bad. Well, if you uh, want to see more on bits and pieces like this, I've got a very nice cross pen as well. Um, and, well, when it comes to notebooks, if I move the camera up this direction, check out my other videos for a load more on all this sort of stuff. And you might also see good old Bobo's the Teddy in the background there. Um, so, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope that's proved useful or enlightening in some way if you're interested in these uh, piston converters. It's got to be said, I'll uh, let you know how it goes and see how I get on with it and how quickly the ink runs out or if I have any leaks or anything like that. But until the next time, thank you very much for watching, and well, I'll see you around soon. Farewell.